Hi everyone, my name is Gabe Crisologo, Applications Engineer here at Hawkrid Systems. In a previous video, we used the Compare Geometry tool to analyze two versions of the same part to quickly identify any geometric similarities and differences. This time around, we're going to take a look at the Compare Features tool. The Compare Features tool works very similarly, but instead identifies the differences in actual solid features, including appearance properties. To use the tool, we'll click on Tools, Compare, features and this will turn on the utilities add-in if it wasn't already turned on and it'll also expand the task pane with the compare tool active from here we can select the two files we want to compare since I had these files open in SolidWorks already they appear in the drop down menu so we'll go ahead and select them here and for items to compare we'll select features and we'll click run comparison the compare features references feature trees from both of these parts and compares the list of features by name and type and the results will be listed in the task pane here. This will show the unique and modified features for each of the parts. So unique features have their own name and type and appear exclusively in one part whereas modified features have the same name and type and appear in both parts. So if you click the top level feature, the unique and modified features are color coded in the graphics area. So if I rotate this model here, we can see where the differences are between the two parts. So you can see this red chamfered face here, and it's not on this part. So if the chamfer exists in one part, it'll be listed here as a unique feature, and in the other feature, the feature icon is replaced with this red dot to kind of show where that change is. So when modified features are found, like these uh, features here, the tool pairs them together and compares their individual parameters. So if I select the whole wizard here, the feature is highlighted in both parts in the graphics area and the parameters for that feature will be listed below. So in this example, both parts have the same whole wizard feature. But if we look at the results here, one of them has the end condition set to up to face, and the other one was modified to a through wall condition. So you can see here, if we analyze the part and take a look here, the up to face stops the hole on this face here, whereas the through wall and condition extends that hole and you're actually cutting into this base of your part here. So the tool will detect any differences in sketch geometry as well which is why cut extrude 3 here is on the list. It says sketch geometry. So the sketch geometry could be different there and if we click on this here that diameter is 12 millimeters. This one is 12. This one is 11.5 and that one is 12 here. So that's probably what the difference is with the two sketch geometries here. Right? So the results can be saved in, in the HTML, HTML format as well by clicking on Save Report, very similar to the uh, Compare Geometry Report. And it contains a summary of the differences and also includes screenshots as well. So we can see how the Compare Features tool differs from the Compare Geometry tool. Both work great to quickly compare two versions of the same part but the Compare Features tool works best for comparing parameterized solid features. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful tips. Thanks for watching.